So if you're here, I'm assuming that you logged into your Google AdSense account and like me, you were told that your earnings were at risk. I immediately set at work to solve this problem. What you're first going to need to do is find out your publisher ID. As you can see, I'm in Google AdSense. How you find that out is click on account and then your account information will display. You want to block and copy your publisher ID. So the next thing we need to do is create a .txt file, which is a plain text file. You can do this in most word processors. My preferred word processing program is Word, which you can see open on the left side of my screen. If you are using a Mac and you don't have Word, you can also use an application that comes with Macs. As you can see, I have a Finder window open on the right side of my screen. If I click on Applications, Text Edit is the name of the application you want. Double click it. This box will open, which is another Finder window. And down in the left bottom corner, you see New Document. Click that and you can go ahead and create your text document that way. But my preferred method is Word, so I'm going to move over here to Word. As you can see, I already typed the information that is needed. Where you see all these zeros is where you need to paste your publisher number that you got in your account moments ago. For security purposes, I have zeros here. I'm going to go ahead and type this in the description below so that you can just copy and paste it into your text document and replace the zeros with your publisher number. So what you want to do is hit File, Save As. I'm going to call it as text. I'm going to save it on my desktop. And then for format, you want to make sure plain text is selected and hit save. Now this warning box comes up telling me that if I save my document as a text file, all of the formatting is going to disappear, but that is what we want. We want a plain text file, so hit OK. And as you can see, there is my file that I just created. So before we move on to implementing the ads.txt file that we just created onto your site, I wanted to give you a little bit more information about this ads.txt situation. If you are affiliated with one of Google's competitors or some other affiliate program, lots of them are moving to this ad.txt situation. So if you look at your screen, I have the line that we just created in the txt file and then I have two other examples. You can have all of your affiliate accounts in one txt file. As you can see Google is on line one, Johnny Come Lately on line two, and ads on your site.com on line three. If you have multiple affiliates that you need txt files just make sure that they are each on their own line. Do not put them all in one paragraph. It will not work. The second thing I wanted to point out is in the example we created, we see this word direct here. But in my new example, I have this word reseller. My understanding of the difference between these two things is you would use direct if you are a blogger like me that you directly control the account that is indicated in this publisher number. If you are a reseller, that indicates that the publisher who owns this ID number has given authority to another entity to control that account. I'm going to go ahead and put a link in the description below where you can read Google's own explanation of this so that you can have a full understanding of it. So the next step in this process is to upload the text file we created to your domain. How you do that is go to your hosting provider's website and log in. I've already done that and I'm with Bluehost. If you are also with Bluehost, great, you can follow right along. If you are with another hosting provider, 
Hopefully you know how to log in and navigate to your cPanel or file manager. If you're unfamiliar with how to log into that, contact your hosting provider. They'll be more than happy to help you. So this is Bluehost and I am going to click on file manager. That brings me to the file manager. And at this point, even if you're not with Bluehost, it should look somewhat similar to this. You want to click on your public HTML folder. And as you can see, I already have the ads text there because obviously I fixed my site and now I'm teaching you to fix yours. But what you would do at this point, while in the public HTML folder, there should be an upload button. If you are not with Bluehost, click on that. And then you would drag your TXT file to start uploading it or select the file. Select, find it on the desktop, and there it is there. And I would hit open if I wanted to do that. If we click go back to home, we can go back to home and now I have two of them, which I will go ahead and delete the duplicate copy since I don't need it. So the next thing that is going to happen according to the Google website is Google will crawl your site within 24 hours and that error message should disappear. I have read online though that is it's taking longer for a lot of sites so just be patient give it a week and see what happens. I hope this video helped you. If it did, please let me know in the comments below and I hope you have a great day.